Hello and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese, and we've had a heck of a women's tournament thus far, and it's only going to get more exciting as we have Abby Clark and Rachel Brown. That's right. Two of our future of the women's division of Ninja. Future? Current of the women's division. Absolutely. They're, well, you know what? They're the current and the future. That's how good I they can't are. I disagree with that. And now that we know who is participating, let's see how they will be participating. They have each sent us a two-minute grip gauntlet, and it will be up to you and only you to determine who will be moving on in the tournament based on creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. That's right. And remember, everyone, I've been saying it so many times, and I'm going to say it every time, this is not a pop. Popularity contest. You are <laughs> the judge for who moves on based on what you see and what you think when you think about it and determine who had the more impressive grip gauntlet. Well, let's see who's the more impressive athlete because here are the resumes for our two competitors. Despite just turning 18 this year, Rachel Brown is truly one of the sport's OGs having qualified for every NNL World Championship so far, and often being at the top of the season point standings. She's performed on the big stages too, having finished second at the 2017 World Championship and third in the Strongest Ninja competition at the 2020 World Championship. Last season, she became just the second woman to beat all the men at an NNL qualifier. And just a few weeks later, Abby Clark followed suit, becoming the third woman to beat all the men at an NNL qualifier. She was also one of four women to beat Ariel Barrel, earning third place at the 2020 World Championship as well as winning the strongest ninja title. She earned her way into this tournament by leading all other adult women in the Season 5 Power Rankings, and it's no surprise how, having won 15 competitions in the last three seasons. Will, it is a shame that we have to put these two athletes in round one. I know, but unfortunately, that's just the nature of single elimination seeded tournaments. You know, sometimes great athletes get eliminated early because they're up against other great athletes. There's nothing we can do. Well, there's one thing we can do, and we can watch this epic matchup go down, starting with Rachel Brown. Ninja Works timer. I love it. And wow. away we go. That's interesting. Using the Ninja Works and starting with those cannonball pegs. With incredible lockoffs, might I add. Yes. Although I can't help but notice it doesn't look like she has a cameraman. It looks like it's on a tripod. Yeah, I think she's going static camera. So we'll. I, I assume everything is going to be in frame. But I sure hope so. And I guess this is true social distancing when you're the only person in the gym. Very true. And she's on to some monkey bars, but with some elevation changes. Let's see where she moves to now as she gets to the end of the monkey bars. I know what I hope she's going for. And I'm going to oh, assume she's going for more pegs. Yeah, I'm going to assume you're going to have to wait. <laughs> Moving on to the pegs, I presume she's going to go across the entire track. This is very much uh, a thing that you've seen in a lot of gyms is that they will utilize the same space, but with different ways to maximize the obstacles per square footage of a gym. And I want to call attention. It looks like she's 180-ing every one of these pegs. I mean, in a competition, that's not the most efficient way, but because they're going for a wow factor, I, I am wowed. Yes. Rachel has been killing it ever since season one of the National Ninja League, and she just continues to impress me every step along the way. And she was beating adults as a 13-year-old, one of the original Elite competitors, I guess, as she's onto these pegs now. Doing even more 180s. Let's see where she moves. We could have given her a 10-minute grip gauntlet. Yeah, she doesn't look tired. She's just moving around, having fun. Let's see. This is a warm-up for her. Well, she's running low on time. Let's see where she moves. And I guess no, that's it. No, I think it. that's it. Yeah. There you go. Good job for Rachel Brown. 
She, I mean, stayed within the same general area, but she didn't break a sweat. Yeah, she looked very comfortable. She looked like she could have stayed on that apparatus for about, I don't know, another two minutes, maybe even longer. Who knows? She has a history of showing that good arm and grip strength, and she definitely showcased it in this video. I just wish she would have showed it off a little more because it looked like there was other stuff in that gym that she could have used. And it felt like a lot of what she was doing was kind of the same movements. She had a lot of pegs. She had a lot of monkey bars. It didn't really deviate from the path too much. Sadly, I think not having a cameraman might have hurt her a bit. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Well, uh, I think Abby had a cameraman. Let's see what Abby has in store. Abby at one of the center court locations. I believe it's Chatham. I could be wrong. And wow, this is a big Lachey off the start. This is 10, 12 feet and catches Whoa. it easily into a link. Oh, that that's impressive right there. And, and caught a cliffhanger ledge. Wow. I can barely keep up. She's going back to a bar. A 180 transfer to a bar. Another big Lachey. Now she's going for the flywheels. Well, let's see if she can fly any more on this course. She's going to static that. Now headed for the cannonball. And it looks like there's a long line of holds here for her to choose from. And these are some pretty tough holds. Like, not easy to be hanging onto a nunchuck this deep into a gauntlet. And I've now, never don't... seen this many different holds in one place. And that's the only time you're ever going to see a, a ninja with a donut in their hand. Uh, I don't know. You you haven't seen the same ninjas I have. Going backwards. Very creative. And she's still got plenty of time here. Can she Let's see. One curl? Make sure you don't hit that bar. Well, I guess if you go right away, you don't hit the bar. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so is that a battering ram? ram? Is that a battering ram? That I is indeed guess. a battering ram. Looks like there's a dismount. This no, no, I'm wrong. No, she's, she's not dismounting. Uh, starting to pump out. Where is she going next? Back to the nunchuck, I assume, to those rings. Yes, indeed. I don't blame her. Oh, no. well, I was gonna say I don't blame her for going to rings, but she has something else in mind. Now where's she going? I'm not going to assume where she's going anymore because she's she's all over the place. <laughs> well, she is running out of time. Let's see. Hand if over she can hand. Squeeze anything else out of this run. Is she going to go for one last big lache? Back to the beginning, it looks like. Oh, just caught it in the link. Awesome there work. She's wow. exhausted. I'm big. exhausted. What a run. Big, big ups to Abby. That was an impressive showcase of moves, variety, and grip overall. Uh, very, very strong showing from, from Abby. Absolutely. And she went a lot more powerful. That was a lot of big lachets and big power moves. Yes, and I am sure that we have two people who have a lot to say about these runs. I guess we're not waiting for it. Lucio, Henry, it's off to you. All right, gentlemen, how are you doing tonight? We're going to start with Henry. We're, Rachel Brown, overall, a, an impressive run, but what were your thoughts? I mean, I know Rachel since season one. She is an amazing, amazing athlete. None of what she did, I think, and this is a compliment to her, did her skills justice um number one please get yourself a camera person um number two everything looked too easy for you i don't think you challenged yourself i love the start i love the lock off and the 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 peg moves up and down and then after that i mean you're an amazing athlete you got to challenge yourself you got to make it look harder it everything just looked too easy for you so i wasn't super impressed so, so if Rachel was able to get a cameraman, do you think we would have seen a better uh, output from her? I think so. I think she, she would have been able to, to use a little bit more of, of the obstacles around that gym. 
and uh, and she would have had definitely had a big a better grip gauntlet for sure. All right, moving on to Lucio. Do you think that perhaps Rachel made things too easy for herself in this course? Oh, absolutely. The the entire time, even looking at that, regardless of if she had a camera person or not, um, engaging each individual monkey bar, um, not something that was necessary. She could have pulled through and done like a big, a bigger, you know, static move even, or throw from one of those uh, monkey bars to a further monkey bar and make it more dynamic. Um, I agree with what Henry said. The initial part of it, those are very difficult moves showing the lock off on the peg balls. Awesome job there. Um, I did note, even in frame, there was cliffhangers that could have been utilized on the sides. There was um, eye bolts that were hanging from the same structure, could have used some kind of grips in there, um, hook grips. Um, definitely some things that could have been utilized that just that weren't engaged. Moving on to Abby, how would you rate her wow factor, Lucio? It was definitely up there really high, especially at the beginning, starting off with a big bang. I can't tell exactly how far the distance was, but it was a big lache. Um, Abby's known for big flying moves. And then when she threw to the cliffhanger, like that's a tough move. That's difficult. Um, so right off the bat going through there and then just the variety of the grips we saw, like vertical grips, you know, cliffhangers, all that stuff, the dynamic movements, the static movements. It was, it was excellent. Definitely hit on all the marks top notch for sure. All right. Uh, Henry, do you think Abby showed enough variety in her run? She definitely could have shown more obstacles. I mean, the variety of, of actual holds was was amazing. There was like every single hole that you can see, think of. You had vertical grip. You had you had different banana grips. You had pretty much cannibals, everything. Um, really, really impressed with her run. She showed her dynamic ability, the the length of shape to start. Um, and then I, she went to the to the 180 move. I'm sorry, the um, change of direction, 90 degree change of direction. Um, really impressed. And then when when I thought she was gassed, like done, she gets on another vertical, another nunchuck, uh, which to me was super impressive. And then finishes off with those last two laches. Um, Really, really, really great grip gauntlet, in my opinion. Very impressed. All right. So I think I know where both of you are going, but let's make this official. Henry, in the battle of Abby Clark and Rachel Brown, who is your pick to move on? Uh, this one is really easy for me. I uh, got to go with Abby. And again, nothing to take away from Rachel because I know what kind of athlete Rachel is, but that grip gauntlet didn't like, like her, Rachel's so much better than what that grip gauntlet showed. Um, and maybe it was the cam, maybe not having a camera person. Maybe there were some other factors, um, not having a variety of obstacles in the gym. But um, Abby's was just all around way more impressive, in my opinion. All right. Lucio, same question to you. I'm going to agree with Henry on this one. I'm going with Abby again. She just put it all together, gave us those points we were looking for, and executed. And just like Henry had mentioned, Rachel, top-level athlete, and she's been a top-level athlete for a long time, but that course didn't do her skill level justice. So um, definitely Abby for the win. All right. So even though these two don't like agreeing with each other, they are agreeing this time around. But the real thing that matters is whether or not you agree with them, because you guys have the power to cast your vote on who you thought had the better grip gauntlet. And once again, we cannot stress this enough. This is not a popularity contest. You guys are playing master judge as you will be grading both these competitors click the link in the description down below to go to our poll and vote for who you think should move on to the semifinals that's right we'll make your voice heard and as we're wrapping up this first round we still have a couple more matches but we really hope you've been enjoying this tournament so far and of course stay tuned for the second and final rounds of the nnl pro tournament Miles Cunningham, he's William Marchese, and we'll see you next time.